cholesterol lowering drugs statins sure they can lower your cholesterol numbers but that doesn't necessarily equate to better health you may experience some unpleasant side effects such as cognitive decline brain fog muscle bruising muscle pain sleep problems dizziness cramps and much more now despite these issues many people continue taking statins simply because their freaking doctor recommended them additionally Statins can lower your vitamin D3 levels and deplete your coenzyme Q10, which is essential for optimal heart muscle function. If you're dealing with heart disease and looking for alternatives, consider following my channel and trying red yeast rice or niacin as a safer, faster acting option. Now be aware that the pharmaceutical industry has repeatedly removed red yeast rice from store shelves since it threatens their profitable cholesterol lowering drug market valued at $1 billion. Now don't uh, blame high cholesterol on genetics. There are more advanced tests available that can help identify the root cause, which your doctor might be unaware of or uninterested in exploring. Instead, they might prioritize their own profit. So do consider tests like HSCRP, homocysteine, ApoB, liposmol A, triglycerides, and uh, HDL ratio, and possibly oxidized LDL. Now, these can help you determine if your lipids are oxidizing and causing a plaque growth. High numbers are associated with metabolic syndrome, impaired glucose tolerance, insulin resistance, and untreated hypothyroidism. You can take up to 1200 milligrams of red yeast rice daily to reduce your LDL naturally while you're investigating the root cause, which could be lifestyle or environmental factors. For instance, my LDL levels were oxidizing due to excessive sugar consumption and sufficient energy utilization during workouts, which ultimately led to insulin resistance and arterial damage. Your doctor may not help you figure out the root cause, so it's important to take charge of your own health. And do keep in mind that individuals with the longest lifespan often have high cholesterol levels up to 400 milligrams per deciliter. It's not just about cholesterol levels, but whether they're oxidizing or not. And if you do know someone with high cholesterol, consider sharing this video and you can literally change someone's life. And if my content has helped you improve your health in a small way, please consider supporting me with a small donation so I can continue researching, creating videos and conducting self-tests.